Today we are focusing on industrialization, on human capital, as well as the future of Ghana beyond aid. Is it even possible? Is it achievable? We'll be getting into that discussion with our experts from uh, the University of Ghana. So I have in our studios this morning, uh, Mr. Samuel, who would also be speaking at the event this morning, as well as Dr. Boateng. You're very welcome to TV3, New Day. How are you doing? We are doing great. Great. I think this is a very, very relevant, uh, you know, topic for discussion as it was launched a few years ago, Ghana Beyond Aid. There have been, you know, discussions as to whether or not it's even possible in the first place. And now we hear that, you know, New Year School is actually mm -hmm. talking all mm -hmm. about this. So before we even get into the Ghana Beyond Aid, uh, how, how is New Year School doing and what should we expect this year? The uh, annual New Year School and Conference is... Uh, the School of Continuing and Distance Education, which is a, a school within the College of Education, University of Ghana, is our flagship outreach program that uh, has been going on for 71 years now. It started in 1948. Okay. And so uh, the university, you know, the university does research and uh, it teaches and does research. And whatever we do must go out to the people, to must go out to the populations. And so we use the annual New Year's School and Conference as a flagship outreach program mm. where the university now descend into the people to let the people understand the issues, issues that are of topical nature, okay. issues that are of interest for our national development, yeah. issues that are also of importance internationally. Mm. And so for all these 71 years, the annual New Year School and Conference has discussed a lot of topics. And this is a time when we bring all people from all walks of life together. And it is completely nonpartisan. So we bring okay. people from all fronts right. to dispassionately discuss issues of national concern. Oh, right. And uh, it's, it's, it is a, a way that we make issues, prepare issues to become policy. Mm. Because uh, when an issue can become a policy, it must, the problem must be understood very well and also the proposal must be w w very well done. Yeah. And, and then, of course, the political connection must be there. There as and, well. And so we prepare this front so that issues such as this can now see the opportunity window for policy to become a policy. Okay. And that is why the annual New Year School and Conference has been in existence. In existence. And Samo, what exactly is the theme for this year's, the focus for this year's conference? All right, thank you. Uh, this year we are looking at um, Ghana Beyond Aid, mm -hmm. the challenges and the prospects. Mm -hmm. And uh, within that, we have carved five sub-themes okay. that, that if discussed as dispassionately as we have always yeah. done, will feed into policy and then okay. probably see to the success of this agenda being driven there by the NPP government, mm -hmm. which they have stated time without number that is a non-political agenda, but is a national agenda. So Ghana Beyond Aid, attaining Ghana Beyond Aid, prospects and challenges, we are looking at um, sub-themes such as um, Ghana Beyond Aid, a national transformation agenda or another rhetoric, okay. political rhetoric, uh, where we bring um, government, government uh, officials and then people from the opposition and the academia together to discuss, then we look at Ghana Beyond Aid, Human Capital Development, Research okay. and Innovation. Then we look at Ghana Beyond Aid and the transformation of the main manufacturing sector. Mm. And then behavior, values, and attitudinal ch change in support of the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda. Mm. And lastly, we have Ghana Beyond Aid, rejuvenating the local economy through accountable governance. Are, are all of these happening on the same day or spread out no, all through the week? No, we have, uh, it's, it's, it's from the 14th to the 16th. Okay. So we okay. run, some will be lectures, some will be uh, plenary sessions, some okay. will be semi, I mean, we have a, a whole lot of a package lot coming of together that. within three days. Okay. Now I'm coming back to my main question. Okay. Ghana Beyond Aid, is it possible? Some people have said that it, it, we, we would have to do a whole lot to get to that point. And so it should take us about 50 years or so to get there. But yeah. is it possible for us to 
you know, get to the point where we can depend on ourselves for our own, you know, needs. Okay. As my director <laughs> said earlier, yeah. um, we, what we do as academics okay. is to embark on research, bring people from all walks of life to discuss issues. At the end of the day, what we seek to do is to feed into policy. Mm. So we cannot be judgmental to say whether it will be um, possible or not. But as a Ghanaian, as someone who loves my country, yeah. I pray and hope it's possible. But then, what we are doing uh, with this program is to bring the cream de la cream, yeah. the experts, politicians, um, technocrats, yeah. together to, to find a roadmap mm. to the success of this. So I can only say that my wish, my prayer, okay. sincerest prayer, is that it works. Okay. But then, we will leave it at that. And if, as the NPP government has continuously said, that it's a national agenda, mm -hmm. um, any other government who finds its way on the seat will, will perpetuate this. Then definitely, if Somalia is doing it, then, then we can as well. If Rwanda has done it, then we can. Okay, but you said we hope and we pray and all of that. Is it that um, we are just wishing on these things? Because, again, you said we, you do a lot of research, so it should be tried and tested. And uh, we, should, we should be closer to the solution than, uh, you know, far away from it. So Ghana beyond aid, within uh, how many years do you think that we can get to that point, Doc? Okay. Yeah, yes. Um, Ghana beyond aid, uh, I, 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 I feel very strongly that it mm -hmm. is realistic. Okay. It is realistic, and uh, be, it's realistic because uh, it's up to us mm. as people to put ourselves to the task to make it work. Okay. Uh -huh. Whatever you you set yourself up to do, it can be done. The only thing is that you <laughs> have to follow the right uh, approach, the right methods, mm. and it can be done. Uh, I will, I'm, I'm going to uh, tell you why I think it's going to work. Okay, I'd like to hear. Yes. Uh, it's going to work because uh, the, the, the things that we need to make it work, we have it all. Okay. We have it all. Ghana have a lot of natural resources. Mm. We are endowed with so much natural resources. It is amazing how much God has blessed us mm. with uh, land resources, water resources, Mineral, everything, count it. But we do have we know everything. how to use them? Because even with the water resources, resources, we've ended up ruining many of them yes. with our lands as well. So that is why the call is so important. We have the men, people who are human capital. We have all the men. If mm. you look at what Ghanaians are doing elsewhere, mm. it, will, it will amaze you. Mm. We have all these talents. But what is left is that we must now come together to get ourselves together and see where our priorities lie. Okay. One of the areas where we can also uh, make things work is our, our attitudes and the, our, value, our values, things okay. that we cherish, things that we want to make work. You see, because of probably the colonial rule, mm. we have become so dependent. And our mental mentality, we think mm. that everything that comes from the West, uh, West is the best. The best yes. uh -huh. And we have, we have depended on everything that is outside. Mm. But we need to come to that realization to see that we also can do it as a people mm. and make it work. And so the contribution that the annual New Year School, this particular one, is going to do to bring these uh, issues to the fore is what my brother earlier on yeah. uh, elaborated. We are bringing together people who are very experienced, who know these areas very well. And what, they are, what are they coming to do? They are coming to explain the issues yeah. so that people can understand. If the, gov the government wants to do this, there, there must be a buy-in from the people. Mm. But if the people don't understand it, they will not follow it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this platform that the School of Continuing New Year School is offering is to ensure that the problem will be understood. There will okay. be clarity. Okay. When people understand the problems and they buy into it, mm. then we, we, have a, we have solved one problem there. Okay. And then people who are going to package this 
issues okay. into a form of proposal, mm -hmm. they are all going to be there. Mm -hmm. Parliamentarians, okay. uh, people in government, they are all going to be there. Okay. And understandings are going to come, different views of mm -hmm. the whole thing are going to come during this conference. Mm -hmm. And then the proposal will be shaped. It okay. is going to be improved. Okay. And then when we have the problem clarified and the proposal well fine-tuned, mm -hmm. then all that we need now will be the political support, the political will yeah. to push it. But as you know yourself, that this is an issue that has been started by the government. Yeah. So we don't have a problem at all with this particular thing. That's why I said it is very realistic because mm. we have all the three streams merging in this particular case. Okay. There is a theory, a man called Kingdom. Okay. And he proposed a theory. He called that multiple uh, streams theory. Okay. And he says that for a policy to become a policy, it must first have the problem stream, which I have explained, and then the proposal stream, and then the political connection coupling. When all these three couple, there is very likelihood that it will become a good I mean, a good thing. Mm. It will be accepted. It can go. It will, can pass as a policy. And when it is passed as a policy, then the right things are done, and it will be successful. Successful. So I, I see that the government is very much committed to this. They are committed to it, uh -huh. but uh, at the end of the day, action still has to take place because yes. we realize that there are lots of gaps. A lot of the time, sometimes it's just about the paper. Communication is left, and people are expected <laughs> to deliver when they have no idea what exactly is going on. Yes. Uh, before we go, I, I want to also hear from uh, Dr. Samuel uh, a practical way that you think that uh, the human resource, the human capital, because we know that that is literally what drives the machinery, yeah. how they can also come on board and how they can help with this agenda and move it forward. Because without them, in fact, we make up the country. So without the human capital, we wouldn't be able to get there. What, how, how do we come in? All right, thank you. As an educationist, I'll start from the classroom. Uh, over the years, we've heard how, how, how many times people have lambasted the kind of education system that we mm, run. That's true. Yes, and I've, I've done papers against the curriculum that we're running. Go and, go and look at the ICT syllabus. Mm. Creating of folders, saving of folders, keyboarding skills, and that yeah. is it. I was so much annoyed when I went, I reviewed those things. But you see, I think um, the, the, the new curriculum that we have with the forces, critical thinking, mm -hmm. uh, cooperation, and all that, when it is really implemented according to plan, that that's the best starting point. Okay. And I believe in the American system of pragmatism. Mm. Because we made those in school to believe that if you score all the A's, okay. you are the best. Yet when they go to the industry, what happens? So we should encourage critical thinking right from the onset yeah. of school. What about those who are not in school? Mm. What about those uh, in the apprenticeship? Exactly. How do we bring in some form of education to help them appreciate what they are doing? Mm. And then also be com com uh, passionate about what they do, commitment as Ghanaians, the Japanese style. If you go to a Japanese work setting, it's beautiful. Mm. They see the workplace as their family. They see people as their family, but in Ghana, what do you do? You go to a hospital, somebody should attend to you, the person is on phone. Mm. So we should start from the classroom, we should start from our home, and that's why we have one big issue here, attitudinal change, yes, behavior, important. values, and attitudinal change in yeah. support of the Ghana, unless we believe in ourselves, unless we move from the fence and get our hands dirty, mm. un unless we all believe in this Ghana beyond aid. Mm as something that can be done, yeah. irrespective. That I keep talking about Rwanda, forgive me, we know where they were, <laughs> yes. and we know where they have come to. Yeah. Look at Mangufuli. Mm. I call him someone who inspires hope in Africa. If he's doing it well in East Africa, why can't we do it? We can, but uh, trust me, my sister, the, my, uh, the mentality of Ghanaians is something different. So we have we to focus on those and on tuning that to the agenda exactly. as well. Well, exactly. we'll continue all of these discussions and more at the conference, the mm -hmm. New Year School Conference, which is happening. Can I have the date again? Yeah, 14th to 16th of January, but 13th participants are registering. Okay, so, and it's open the to day. the public, so they yes. can come and then take part and also make their contributions as well. Straight yes. away. We okay. have some invitation cards there. Oh, is it for free? For free. Okay. For the opening. For the the opening. president okay. will be there, so will be there. Okay, beautiful. Okay, the so opening ceremony. 
is happening the seventh annual New Year School and 71st. Conference. Oh, pardon me. 71st mm -hmm. annual New Year School and Conference, attaining Ghana Beyond Aid prospects and challenges on from the 14th of January. Uh, to the 17th of January. Uh, you can also find out more on uh, the University of Ghana page, I believe. And, yeah. you know, the discussion continues. Well, thank you so much once again for joining us. It's been good having you, Dr. Samuel Amponsa, who is a senior lecturer at the University of Ghana, as well as um, the co-director of the 71st Annual New Year School Conference, and Dr. John Boateng. Thank you so much for joining us.